So when it comes to splitting firewood, your ax selection can make a huge difference in how hard you actually have to work. What I wanted to share with everybody today was different style axes for splitting out wood. So when you think about splitting out wood, most people actually just grab whatever big ax they have around camp. And most of the time, the axes are felling axes. So there are some better options if you're gonna split a large amount of wood or you have a stationary camp that you can keep supplies at, like I have the yurt here behind me. I can keep larger splitting axes at this camp in order to just make my life that much easier. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with just using a felling ax. I use this all the time to split wood, but there are better options. So the first thing I wanna show you that I use all the time is something called just a splitting ax. And you can see there's a huge difference here. You can see how wide this bit is. So from the top to the bottom compared to this one, and you can see how short this is from side to side compared to this one. Okay, and here's the reason why. When we're going to fell a tree, this is a felling ax. When you're gonna fell a tree, you're swinging the ax this way per se, okay? So you don't want a lot of weight out in front because the longer this becomes, the, the heavier it is and the more chance it is that you're going to swing and that tip is gonna fall down, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit shorter, broader stroke to cut into the wood. On the other hand, you look at something like this splitting ax from Husqvarna, has a long drawn out face. So when I am throwing the ax downward this way, the weight is in the front. It's not gonna allow it to go side to side because the weight's pulling that bit straight down. So something like this is gonna help split wood that much easier and let you be more precise with your swings. On top of that, once you get into the wood, it gets very thick, okay? So the cheeks come out really quickly from the point it gets wide really quick. So once you start to dig into that wood, it's acting like a natural wedge to push that wood apart. It looks like a sledgehammer on one side and then an ax on the other, and that's a splitting maul. And a splitting maul, okay, has that same profile. Long drawn out, a little bit wider here at the blade, but then it has a lot of weight behind it. So this was primarily made for splitting wood with a lot of knots or a lot of twists and really heavy twisty grain because you're gonna have a lot more weight behind it. Then it is also tempered on the back so you can pound this with a sledgehammer. We should never be pounding any of our other axes with a hammer like this. They're not tempered correctly. We can bend the eye, which is where the wood goes in. So we want to use the right tool for the job. The biggest downfall with something like this is that it will split out wood really quickly, really efficiently, and works well, but it's a lot of weight to be swinging around. So this is a tremendously heavier than something like this. So you just need to take that into consideration if you're gonna be splitting a lot of wood. So that's a quick rundown. We have our splitting ax, splitting maul, and then our felling ax. They're all gonna work just fine, but there are specific tools for specific jobs. So for me, I want my life to be easier out here so I can get to the things that I actually love to do a little bit more than splitting wood. So this was Dan Wolbeck of Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, um, if anybody wants to come out and help me split wood, you're welcome to. <laughs> Stay in the woods, guys.